and welcome to another VRTK tutorial video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get VRTK and Newton VR to work together so for those who don't know what Newton VR is it's another open source tool for VR that allows you to do interactions with things and it's really good at doing uh, physics based interactions very similar to the track object in VRTK but it really focuses on that um, and it does it really well so I'll jump in and we'll start getting all the bits that we need first of all if we just go to the asset store and search for Newton VR and we can see it here and we'll just download Newton VR and we'll import Newton VR. So once we've got Newton VR imported, we'll just go to one of its example scenes. Um, they have an example scene inside example and it's just called NVR example scene. And as you can see in Newton VR, they've got all these different interactable controls that you can uh, try out and use. They're quite similar to the ones found in VRTK as well. However, these react quite nicely with their uh, interaction system, which is all physics based. Um, so we'll just jump into this scene and have a quick look at it. But before, we've just got to set up the NVR player. So if you go to the NVR player, and I'm going to be using Steam VR, so we need to click install Steam VR. And that just takes you straight through to the uh, download page for the SteamVR plugin. So we'll just click import on that and import that in. And once SteamVR is imported, we just need to click enable SteamVR. And now we can use SteamVR with Newton VR. So I'm just going to jump into the scene quickly and give a quick overview of the interactions with Newton VR. So this is the Newton VR example scene. As you can see, they've got things like levers that you can pull down and it shoots this rocket up into the air. And it's got quite a nice, um, if you see it, it quite nicely lerps back into place. I've got these switches and you can, you can toggle these uh, controllers on and off, the rigid bodies. You've got these knobs that you can wriggle, these sliders. You've got this spinner. Uh, you've got a button, you've got drawers with a gun inside and it's got tracked objects. Um, you can pick these up, you can pull these apples down, uh, there's a, a door open and that closes as well. Um, so you can see it's got quite a, a, a few cool physics interactions with it. One of the other things that it does that VRTK doesn't do is when you have a rigid body on the controller, it won't be able to actually go through things. So if you put your controller here, the controller will stay and you can see it's, the controller works as if a tracked object is being pulled around which means you can never push your controller through things and you can also use it to open and close doors or press buttons etc so this is a really quick overview of the newton vr scene and if you wanted to use the newton vr interactions but you also wanted to use parts of vrt capture like teleporting around um, or using dash or walk in place then we can actually use them together so i'm going to jump back into the editor now and i'm going to show you how to do that so we're back in the editor and what we need to do now is go and get a copy of VRTK. So if we go to the asset store again and search for VRTK and if we just download the latest version of that and then we'll import VRTK into our project. So once it's imported back we'll jump back into the Newton VR scene and what we're going to do is going to enable it so we can teleport around this scene quite easily. So what we need for VRTK to work is if we just create ourselves a new empty game object and we'll call that VRTK and that's going to hold our VRTK SDK manager which is found in scripts and utilities SDK manager so we select that and we'll drag that over to here now what we want is to be out because we're using uh, Steam VR with Newton VR we want to select the Steam VR SDKs for all of the items that will add our script find symbol that we need and now what we need to do is we need to actually put in here the uh, elements from the Newton VR camera rather than use the auto populate it's very straightforward so Newton VR comes with its own camera rig and the boundaries is just NVR player and headset is just head left actual controller is left hand and the right actual controller is right hand and what we'll do as well for this regard is we'll just use left hand and right hand for the model alias as well because they do become uh, 
the model alias is within here so that should be fine there and now what we're going to do is we're going to create our own uh, sub objects under here one for uh, play area which we'll put our teleport script on and we'll create one for the left controller and one for the right controller as well and now in here we just want to say these are our script aliases so our left script alias is left controller and our right one is our right controller and now what we need to do on these if we stick a, a pointer uh, sorry first of all we need to put the events on there so controller events goes on there first and then we'll put a pointer on so we'll just use a simple pointer for now and then on the play area if we just use a basic teleport we've now set it up so VRTK knows to put the relevant script onto the Newton VR camera rig and that should be all we need to teleport around the scene so let's jump into the scene and watch that working so we're back in the Newton VR demo scene we've still got all the Newton VR interactions as we had before but also now if we hold down the touchpad which is the default uh, teleport button on VRTK you can see we're getting a VRTK pointer that's working as it would in any other scene and we can use that to literally teleport around and then we can walk up and we can pick these objects up we can throw them, we can go and teleport after it and we can pick him up again and throw him back if we need so as you can see it's really straightforward to get uh, some of the VRTK functionality working with Newton VR because Newton VR has its own camera rig which we can just easily import straight into v VRTK I hope this has been helpful if it has please leave some likes and comments on the video and consider subscribing also go and check out newton vr it really is a good interaction system and if you're not quite finding vrtk gives you the the level of uh, physical interactions that you want then newton vr definitely does it to a, a greater detail and fidelity than uh, vrtk does so being able to use both of them gives you the best choice so thanks for watching bye for now